drink beer, it's good for you. I'm empty handed and I'm feeling blue, and I'm gonna drink till the day that I die. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my Grandfather Connect updated controller review. I have to tell you I'm super excited to actually now have this physically in my hands just before release as well. So to kick off the video I'm actually going to start by uh, talking about some of the features of this unit and then I'm going to show you it in action. This new controller will become the standard crop controller for all new Grandfather units sold. It connects via Bluetooth to the Grandfather for automated brewing. There is a new smartphone app for iOS and Android. Full recipes with mash steps can actually be imported from Beersmith and there's also a recipe creator that will be featured on the new Grainfather website that is in development currently. The brand new Grainfather app that will support the Connect has all of the brewing calculators in it that uh, you will need. So this is a very very useful thing to have at your fingertips at all times. There is also a heating timer function for your strike water which will mean that you will be able to set it for the time that you wish to wake up in the morning and be able to do your uh, mashing in straight away. Very handy. Also as uh, one of the most eagerly awaited uh, features of this unit you will have full automated step mashing with support for up to 10 different mash steps. The unit also does not need the plastic guard on top anymore because it's waterproof and has a full graphical display. The new controller gives you much greater control over the power of the system. So rather than the heater being either on or off now, it now actually has a modified PID algorithm which gives you far better power management. It's also worth noting that every single grandfather that's in the marketplace can actually have this upgraded controller. And the difference in price between the old grandfather and the new is actually the upgrade price for this controller for existing units. So no one's disappointed. This is just a good thing all round. At the point of making this video, I was able to confirm that the UK retail price is £109, which seems very reasonable for what's on offer here. So before we get into the first testing, here are some pictures of the unit itself. The unit certainly has a nice quality feel to it. And I really like this raised logo that faces you when you're brewing. Very, very nice. Here's the underside of the unit. You can see that the pump and heating plugs are there as before. But instead of just having a cable coming out for power, you now can connect or disconnect this. The unit also comes with its own temperature probe. So should you take this upgrade, you can actually find a new use for your existing controller, the STC200. So I'm now going to go through the Grainfather Connect manual controls. So this is everything you can do without the smartphone app. So here's the timer function. Um, I'm very, very happy uh, about this feature because basically I'm one of those guys that likes to brew early in the morning. What I can do using this is put my strike water in the night before, set this up, it only takes a moment to set up, uh, and then uh, in the morning I've got my strike re water ready and I can start mashing in straight away rather than waiting. So it's really nice to see that part of this controller is that you have a nice time saving feature like this built in. So yeah, I'm very very happy with this and uh, I can confirm that it works perfectly. So yes, you can actually do the automated step mashing without the smartphone app. I think that's a very, very cool feature. So what you can do here is you can actually set up to 10 different mash steps. This is very, very handy. No more, no more uh, uh, changing the temperature on the fly. Fully automated. Very, very nice. Now, there are other brewing systems on the market that will actually offer this function. I have to say though, they're considerably more expensive than the Grainfather. I found using this menu system very very easy and I particularly like the way the buttons are designed. They've got a nice feel to them and they've got a nice uh, responsive click whenever you press them. And as you can see here you have a full guide on everything that you need to do next. 
this on-screen guide is very, very useful for us that are either half awake, as I probably was, or uh, people new to brewing, or, or certainly new to the grandfather also. As you would expect, you can actually switch the pump on and off and the heating on and off from here and actually manually set the temperatures as you wish also. So that's also very nice. So you can use this fully without the smartphone app if you choose to. One thing that I really like about this new controller is that you can see on the screen at all times exactly what's happening, what the target is, how long it's got left, how much heat that it's using, all very, very useful. So when you're actually in between mash steps, what you'll find is that the unit will actually wait until it reaches the new temperature, as you would expect, before it carries on uh, with the uh, step countdown. During this process, the PID is actually uh, using its new algorithm to adjust the heat, and you can see it there on the right-hand side in terms of the percentage. So no more do you actually need to switch on and off of the uh, bigger and smaller element. The system will actually uh, go between the two of them itself and apply the amount of heat that it needs. So now you can see that we've reached the right temperature for step mash number two here and the timer has started and there's a small amount of heat going on there just to maintain the temperature of this mash step. So the great thing about this new PID algorithm is that basically it's controlling the heat for you. Um, before you had a situation where the uh, heating was either on or it was off. Now you have lots of in-betweens uh, and that's really a very good power saving uh, feature uh, which will then result in you having a lower electricity bill. Happy days. So I guess you can tell already that I'm a big fan of this unit. Yes, I really am. I think this is a fantastic upgrade for the grandfather, and I would urge anyone that has an existing unit to upgrade to it. So, this is part one of my review, where I looked at what you can do without the smartphone app. Um, the second part will obviously include that smartphone app and how it all works and uh, why this is a fantastic part of this. So, already I can think that this is a fantastic upgrade for anyone, um, just manual. Um, include the smartphone map, I think this is going to push the bar even further. So please do look out for part two of this video, it will be coming shortly. So thanks very much for watching this video, I do hope you enjoyed it, I certainly enjoyed making it and brewing the beer, as always. If you did enjoy it, then I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a like on YouTube. This really helps get my videos out to a wider audience. Sharing is caring. Naturally, the second part of this video will be out very, very soon. I also have an awful lot more content planned for the future. If you're new to my channel, then please check out what I already have and subscribe for future content. I would also like to send a big thanks to David Borden who made the making of this video possible by sending me out this preview unit of the Grandfather Connect. Much appreciated David, thank you very much. So, until the next time, happy brewing!